I made a Pikachu shield to go with my Pikachu sword and my Pikachu helmet and as you can see it protects you against some things. It's part of a series where eventually I'm going to make a whole medieval Pikachu style suit of armor. Now before I tell you how I made the shield, I'm just going to tell you about one theme running through this series. Pretty much with all my tutorials on this channel, I kind of take an approach where I want anyone to be able to watch it, no matter what their skill level or bank account looks like, and then be able to just make it. So if you're a skilled woodworker watching this, you're probably going to be like, what? There's a much better, more expensive wood you can use, and if you use a certain electric tool, you could have got a better corner. Yeah, you're probably right, but I don't care. That's not what I'm trying to do. So I started off with a big, huge board of uh, something called MDF. Now I used that for a couple of reasons. One, it's cheap as hell that huge board cost me like seven bucks and another reason is it's pretty soft which is good because I'm just gonna be using a cheap hand saw so I drew out a rough circle shape of what I want the shield to look like and then I cut it out using a coping saw if you don't know what that is basically it's a hand saw but you can adjust the angle of the blade so it allows you to cut certain angles and round edges a little bit easier that too cost me like six bucks after that sucker was cut out it was time for some sanding now you're probably thinking that's not a perfect circle I didn't want to make it perfect same thing with the sword that I made I want to leave little notches and like dents in it because I want it to look battle worn so some of the stuff where it looks like I just screwed up I did it on purpose other times I just screw up and I actually did screw up but I just pretend I did it on purpose but moving on so I sanded out some of the bits I didn't want and I left some errors and then it was time to paint first thing I did was give it a white base coat I wasn't too careful with evenly layering that out because it's not a massive deal next thing I did was spray certain areas of the shield with black and again I had to do a couple of layers but I'm only showing one because I'm not just going to show you literal paint drying that's hella boring. After that I used masking tape to uh, draw out a pattern that I wanted to leave because the next thing I did was put yellow all over that and then when I peeled the masking tape off the shape that I roughly wanted was there. As you can see I went with the lightning energy from Pokemon cards. A lot of you guys were suggesting other things like a Pokeball and stuff. I just decided this would match the costume better. Red and white wouldn't go with the yellow armor so that's why I did it. Don't comment saying I'm wrong. F you. Anyway the spray paint actually looked a bit too glossy and unnatural considering it's meant to look like a medieval wooden sword so then I used some acrylic paint to kind of dirty it up a little um, I even tried to make it look like there was a wood grain on the shield which actually turned out pretty good it's a similar thing I did with the helmet and the uh, sword to make it look better worn make it look like it's used and not new and glossy then I got like some crappy two dollar belt that I bought and I cut off the buckle and also the end with the holes and also another part I used a hot glue gun to glue one handle that's static and doesn't move and then I glued the belt and the hole part so that I can tie tighten it on my arm or someone else can tighten it depending on who's holding it and then the hot glue dried and then it was done I'm the best it's finished okay. not sure what the next part I'll make for this armor probably the chest piece and stuff I have a Twitter account where I often ask people for advice and um, suggestions about how the armor should look so go there if you have some ideas or jump in the comments I'll leave you with some links to the sword video and the mask video in the meantime I haven't thought of something funny to say at the end.